Okay, let's see what they want us to do next. Okay, there are four nut plate to attach patterns in the upper flange of the P and L. All right, so let's take a peek at this. Yep, there are four nut plates that get attached up here. Okay, final drill number 19, all the screw holes, and number 40, all the nut plate attach holes. Machine countersink the screw holes for the lower nut plates, for the lower two nut plates. We'll figure that out what that is. In the inboard flange or the center section of bulkhead for the screw of a number eight. Okay. So um, let's do it to this one because this is the one that we're doing show and tell with. Mostly so I don't mix up my parts. All right. Put that over here. Flip this down. And all right. So this is A, remember? So A goes over here. There's A. Just so later on when we're moving things around. These are pretty nasty. Um, I'm just going to give them one turn just to clean them up. On the inside, it's going to be a little tougher to do, but you still need to clean them up. So just whatever you need to do to get in here and clean up these, these holes. Yeah, that actually works okay. Um, I'm just getting the rough part off of here. When we scuff this up to prime, we're going to be really scuffing this and it's going to be nice and nice and smooth. But back to this. So they want me to first drill number 19 for the screw holes and then number 40 for the other holes. So let's get all of these drill bits out here. I made this little drill bit block, which has seen cleaner days, and I've numbered the holes. So I just grabbed the number 40 reamer, and I'm gonna ream each of these. Okay, that's all the number 40s. And I noticed that number, my number 19 drill bit is missing, which means I need to find it and I need to validate that it is the number 19. So the drill bit will either have a very lightly imprinted number on the shank of the bit, but I can't, just, I can't read this. <laughs> Um, so I'm just going to measure it. So the number 19, if we thought here on the handy chart, is 0. 0.1660. Yep. So that's 0. 0.1645. 1660. Yeah, this is a number 19 right there. So I can... So hopefully when I'm done with this drill bit this time, I'm going to remember to put it away and save myself the, the trouble. So the holes are number 19s because I believe these are gonna be number eight screws. I don't like doing this like that. So I'm gonna, there we go. There we go. Perfect. And again, these are actually pretty smooth. The, the ones that we drilled are not as smooth as the ones that we reamed. So I'm gonna just one turn with a tiny little bit of pressure. There we go, that feels good. The back side, could I use just like a half turn from each of them? Just to... Feel like I need some. Usually, I have music or something on the TV going on, so it's not just silent in here with me not uh, saying anything. <laughs> um, all right, so these are gonna be number eights, and I will usually just to keep my sanity grab a number eight screw in the box. I 
Okay, yep, it fits. Number eight. I know a through hole cut for a number 19, I'm sorry, for a number eight screw is a number 19 drill bit, but this is just my sanity check, making sure that, oh, that one's a little, see, that, that's a, that's a bit tight. Yeah, that's interesting. I might not have, it looks like maybe I didn't go all the way through because I bumped into the table. There we go, that's perfect. And these are through holes, um, so they're not, uh, they don't have to be crazy tight. Okay. So, um, it is talking about, it hasn't told me what the nut plates are yet, so I'm, I guess is that that's later. Um, it's just telling me to prep for them. So, for nut plates, final drill number 19, okay, we've done that. I, if, if I had done that on all four pieces, I would cross it off. And number 40, all nut plated patch holes. And then a machine countersink to the screw holes for the lower two nut plates. The lower two nut plates. Which ones are the lower two nut plates? Machine, the, see figure four. Here's figure four. It is unclear. <laughs> oh, here we go. This is interesting. So I wasn't paying a ton of attention. So it's talking about these and these. So Clico, the P left and right and final drill. And now for the nut plates, it's actually talking about all of them. So let's take a peek at one of these. Yep, there's three nut plates, the lower two. And if we look at the plans, it's actually calling out machine countersink, the lower two nut plates. Nut plate attached patterns, there's three, and machine countersink, the lower two. So that's what it wants me to do here. I haven't peeled this yet, or deburred it, or match drilled it, or any of the above, so I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, mostly for sanity of the video. I'm just gonna look forward and see what else is going on here with these parts. Okay, so Clico, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, Clico, those two. Final drill number 30, those two. Uh, okay, match drill. Okay, there we go. The, the, the piece that I was talking about, I thought was gonna happen. So it's saying match drill number 12, the holes common between the F1004A center section bulkhead, which is this, the 4E, 4F center section bars, which are the, the two bars that are on here, so these holes, <laughs> um, mesh drill, and the mid-seat rail support sub-assemblies, sub which are these, using the holes in the center section as a drill guide. So it wants me to remember there's only, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, number 30 holes here, one, two, three, four, five, six, number 30 holes here, but there's these big number 12 holes, which bolts are going to go through, that are not drilled. I have no idea why Vans didn't do this. It's probably related to they need to meet the, you have to do 50% of the work um, thing. So what we would do next, which I'm not gonna do right now because I, I feel like I'm getting ahead of myself. I wanna get all of the parts to this, this part before I start drilling into this. I will Clico this in place. And I'm gonna definitely have a Clico as close as possible to where that hole is gonna go. So on the ends, there's gonna be a Clico there and a Clico there and honestly probably two more in here just to hold everything in place. I'm gonna flip this over, somehow support it, um, get a number 12 drill bit, put it in the uh, drill, lubricate it like crazy, and then we're gonna use these holes from the other side to drill through and make a number 12 hole in here. And that is and that is that page, and that'll get us done with that page. So this is just a quick, I wanted to go over what the process is, right? So you, you know, what are you gonna do when you get your plans? How are you reading your plans? What works for, you know, what works for me? Um, and really what works for me is getting an idea of what I'm gonna do, get all the parts out, get the parts ready, you know, deburr everything, make them nice and clean, and then start mash drilling things, reaming things, um, and countersinking things. 
when I'm done with these uh, one, two, three, four, five, six parts and the, and the center spar, um, I would make sure that they're labeled. And assuming that they're not required parts for something else, right? Like I'm looking at this and making sure that they're not required for the next step. I'm gonna put them aside and in my pile of parts to prime, which is usually the top shelf over there. Um, and then when I have enough that it makes sense for me to run, do a priming run, I would prime everything and then I'll come back to this page and I will rivet the parts in place or whatever they tell me to do. In this case, this page not yet, but you know, the next couple of pages they're gonna say, now that you're ready, rivet the parts in place. And that's really it. It's just following the plans. The plans on the 10 are, you know, step by step, really easy. The plans on the uh, six, seven, eight, nine are a bit different. <laughs> um, and the 12 and 14 uh, are even easier. So if you're building a 12 or 14, you'll have a good time and we'll go through a lot of the trouble. All right, thanks for watching. Um, as usual, please uh, subscribe, um, hit the little bell or something. I don't know. <laughs> we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.